And what could be better than March 1st to March 2nd, 2024? Good day, everybody. I am Connor with Honor, Connor McIver, local agent here in Santa Frida Valley. I wanted to talk about three items. First off, as always, every single day, we're going to talk about what's going on with the local inventory here. And what I do is I have pre-saved searches that show me exactly what's happening in regard to that inventory. So yesterday we were just almost at 300 homes for sale. That includes condominiums, townhomes, and also single family residences. As of this morning, 307. So we've gone up actually breaching 300, which we haven't seen in a long time, as far as active real estate listings go here in Santa Clarita Valley cities. So we have Castilla, Canyon Country, New Hall, Saga, Stevenson Rancho, Valencia, and all of those cities, 307 active listings. Then looking at the real estate news, I wanted to cover a couple items that people are talking about. And they're talking about using your home equity to buy a second home. A lot of my clients out there, people I've sold real estate to in the past, they have equity. So now they're deciding, oh my gosh, retirement's coming up. Should I use some of the equity in my residence to buy something else? What I usually suggest, people, especially if they're relocating after they retire, consider potentially buying a small residence, not their final house, but a small residence and where they expect to be, at least to get a feeling. And when you have your vacation that comes up the two or three or four weeks out of the year, or even fancier folks have longer time periods. But once you get your vacation, then go spend that time there. Get an idea, and I would usually start tracking this maybe five years before you actually decide to retire. That's, in fact, if you are going to retire. I know a lot of other people in this profession, not my previous law enforcement career, because in law enforcement, it seemed like everybody wanted to make it to that retirement. But then after they get there, and this is a topic for an entirely different kind of podcast, once they get there, they don't know what to do. They've been doing the same thing for the past 30 plus years. And the same thing, I understand we have different job assignments within the Los Angeles Police Department. Some of them are a lot better than others as far as people are concerned. But at the end of the day, you're still strapping on the iron. You're still going out there and you're still making peace on some way in some way, shape, or form. It might be that you're making peace by protecting the bad people or the world from the police. Maybe your internal affairs. Maybe you're keeping the peace by you're a patrol officer. You're out in the field, so you're actually on the front lines of, of law enforcement trying to take care of those folks out there that just want to live without being bothered by people trying to bother them, steal from them, take from them, hurt them in other and various different ways. But you're now considering potentially leaving the state and retiring. That's not a bad suggestion. Go feel it out for a little bit. Go take your trips there. And of course, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but before you start stripping valuable equity out of your residence and start to place it into a market you might not know as well as the current one, because you've already seen the last 10, 15, 20 years of what's happened by you just purchasing a residence in Southern California, maybe keeping it up just a little bit, that's going to translate into an entirely different animal when you get to another state who doesn't have as re ro robust an economic outlook and economic platform as Southern California real estate. Our properties tend to appreciate a lot quicker, depreciate a lot slower. And when we have our cycles, usually there are some protected areas. For example, the most expensive being in the Platinum Triangle, the Hamby Hills areas, the Bel Airs, the Brentwoods, and the Beverly Hills. Those properties are pretty much bulletproof when it comes to different cycles that occur in real estate. Right now, of course, giving them the most opportunity for those sellers in those markets because those price points are so incredibly high. But we're still seeing that, and they're not building more Beverly Hills land. They're not building more Bel Air, more Brentwood, more Hamby Hills land. I'm going to have to go through and narrate all this and find these different things because I'm sure the chat GPT and the systems that I'm using to compile the data after with regard to the show are probably cutting up those words horribly, but I'll have to check. Anyway, that's from me to you, my mouth to your ears. So as far as pulling equity out, even for investors out there, people that just have their house that they live in, their primary residence thinking, you know, how can we leverage them to have into something else? 
these are all great things to sit down and discuss. And in fact, a lot of people find that they can do this without uh, much risk. Knowing that market they're going and also having boots on the ground where you're going to be investing in real estate, that's very important as well. If you have people on the other end that you don't know or can't trust or a family, maybe questionable family, that could equate to problems for you. I hope today's update has been fantastic. There are quite a few open houses out there. It is Saturday. We'll be back with tomorrow's broadcast Sunday. But as far as real estate inventory, finally, we did breach 300 units for sale. That includes active properties. And that's going to also be coming soon properties, about 16 of those. And of the properties out there listed for sale, these are townhomes, condominiums, and single-family residences in all of the Santa Cruz Valley cities. 307 active. Something I found interesting yesterday, and I'll do a little bit more about this, but I had to join a separate board of realtors out in the greater Antelope Valley. As I was pulling properties for clients to show this weekend, I discovered that every single listing we're going to go look at wasn't even put in by a member of their local board of realtors. I believe that action, folks, does the client, the sales, the sales end of it, the seller, a massive disservice. I'll talk more about this in a later show, but that's something that you might want to consider before you hire somebody to represent you in the sale of your real estate. Have a fantastic weekend. I am Connor with Honor. Over and out.